cook out tomorrow, Lainey. Juneteenth, a lot of people would probably like <laughs> to grill, but will it be feasible? Uh, well, you'll just have to pay attention to the skies. I do think there will be some showers and thunderstorms around late tomorrow afternoon and evening, but not everybody is going to have to deal with the stormy weather. Out there today, hey, we saw some improvements, right? A little bit of sunshine out there. Temperatures came up some into the 70s, and that trend, a shift from cool and rainy to more summery, is what we're expecting as we move into Friday and even Saturday and Sunday. So we still have some showers and thunderstorms in the forecast, and we could see an additional one to two inches of rain. That is not for everyone, but where we do have those heavier downpours. Any additional rain on already wet grounds could cause some localized flooding, but right now no flood concerns, no flood advisories, but we do have some heavy downpours coming down right now. Rain chances will be less going into the weekend. The heat and humidity, more. It's going up. And you can see the rain over our area right now moving through the triad. And yes, some of it is heavy and there has been at least occasional lightning with it. You can see heavy rain right now along Highway 58 between Martinsville, Danville. Also some heavier downpours down toward Eden and Reedsville. Heavier rain right now from Rural Hall over Winston-Salem, over Kernersville, as well as High Point. And this is all moving northeast. There's been a bit of lightning near Salisbury with that batch that is now over Lexington. These will be brief but heavy downpours where you could pick up at least a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. Tomorrow morning, we're not expecting much in the way of wet weather. You'll likely wake up to clouds, maybe a spotty shower, some fog, but that's probably the drier part of the day. Maybe a bit gloomy at least to start, but I do think we'll see some sun kind of punching through as we approach lunchtime. Our temps right now are in the 60s. We're in the upper 60s across the area. We made it into the upper 70s out there this afternoon, and we are headed into the 80s, so above 80 80 degrees it looks like for the triad communities tomorrow, mid 80s over the weekend and upper 80s close to 90 by early next week. But with the heat, we're also going to have to deal with the humidity. It's going to become increasingly more uncomfortable out there. Sticky air is in the forecast. And yeah, that doesn't make for a good outdoor time, does it? And a lot of folks are trying to get out there, maybe get the lawn mowed. It is so, so wet. Even if we have dry conditions, that might be difficult to do. Your outdoor planner tomorrow, if you are going to plan to be outside, I think your driest time is going to be in the morning. The storm systems that have plagued us all week long, well, they are moving away. So that's a good sign. They're just not moving very quickly. So we're not going to see any quick weather changes in here. That's why we have to hang on to those showers and those thunderstorms. Tomorrow morning on the map, you're going to see some clouds around. The temperatures are in the 60s. I think it's relatively dry until about lunchtime. We get some sun in and we develop some of that heat, a little instability. And in the afternoon, we'll see more showers and thunderstorms developing as those temperatures near 80 degrees. Like I said, not everybody gets an additional one to two inches of rain. We don't get a whole lot after this batch that moves through in the next hour overnight. We'll add to a little bit tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, there could be some spots that do receive close to an inch. High temperature, close to 80 degrees tomorrow afternoon, both in the triad as well as the foothills. We've got a south wind out there, storm chances going up afternoon in the mountains, also gonna have some 70s for the weekend. First day of summer, definitely will feel like summer. Temperatures in the mid 80s, some scattered thunderstorms, mainly late day. For Sunday, I think it's going to be the driest day we've got on our seven day forecast. I'm hopeful for little to no rain for our dads out there so you can get outdoors, maybe enjoy something you like, fishing, golfing. You've got temperatures in the upper 80s, close to 90 for Father's Day.